Psalm 10. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth them into his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand. Forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked contemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite, to requite it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is king for ever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thine eyes to see. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed. That the man of the earth may no more oppress. Psalm 20 The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Grant thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Selah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Psalm 30 I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. That is, hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy strength? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee, if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. 
Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord, that thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of mine head. Therefore my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I, but I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my God. Psalm 50 The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices, or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I would take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds, for every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle. Upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the, in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify thee. But unto the wicked God saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee? When thou sawest the thief, then thou consentest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise, glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. Psalm 60 O God, thou hast cast us off, thou hast been displeased. O turn thyself to us again. Thou hast made the earth to tremble, thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast showed thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Selah. That thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and hear me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out the valley of Sekoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? 
Wilt not thou, O God, which hath cast us off, and thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 70 Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord. Make no tarrying. Psalm 80 Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest, Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin. And Manasseh, stir up thy strength, and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink. In great measure thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt, thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it, thou preparest room before it and its cause, it to take deep root and it filled the land, the hills were covered with the shadow of it and the bows thereof were like the goodly cedar she sent out her bows unto the sea and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges? so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her. The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beasts of the field doth devour. It return we beseech thee, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold, and visit this vine and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself it is burnt with fire it is cut down they perish at the rebuke of thy countenance let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself so will not we go back from thee quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord. God of hosts, cause thy face to shine, and we shall be. Save Psalm 80, 19 verses. Psalm 90 O Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep in the morning, they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, 
and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Psalm 100 Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 110 The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength. Out of Zion rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauty of holiness, from the womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the people. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Psalm 120. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty, with coals of juniper. Woe is me that I sojourn in Mesic, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 130, out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous forgiveness. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalm 140 Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips, Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man, who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me in, in cords. They have spread a net by the woods. They have spread a net by the windside. They have set gins for me, Selah. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. 
Grant not, O Lord, the desire of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Selah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. Psalm 150 Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord.